Hi, I'm John Bonagura, and this snippet is focused on coughing in the mature dog. Is it heart failure or not? Canine patients are often presented for coughing of acute onset or of chronic duration. The workup involves considering a relatively large differential diagnosis. Of course, a complete history regarding the cough and any response to treatment should first be obtained. Careful physical examination is needed with emphasis on observation of ventilation and auscultation of the heart and respiratory system. Radiographs of the thorax are indicated in these patients, especially if the cough is chronic or when the physical examination suggests cardiac or bronchopulmonary disease. You know, one practical approach to the differential diagnosis involves working your way anatomically down the respiratory tract and as you consider each differential diagnosis, ask, are the history and physical examination findings suggestive of that condition? Also scrutinize the radiographs for additional evidence for or against the diagnosis. For example, I start by considering laryngeal paralysis, which often leads to throat clearing and a soft cough, along with airway noise with exercise. Radiographs are infrequently helpful in cases of LARPAR, but laryngoscopy will usually be diagnostic. Tracheal collapse is a very important diagnostic consideration, especially in toy breeds. Inspect each segment of the trachea for narrowing or collapse, remembering that sometimes dynamic studies such as fluoroscopy will be needed. Less common causes of tracheal compression include mediastinal mass lesions, such as mediastinal or hilar lymphadenopathy, and tumors, such as thymoma. The left mainstem bronchus can be compressed by a large left atrium. This is a very important diagnostic consideration when you detect a heart murmur in an older dog. But alternatively, principal bronchi can collapse from bronchomalacia, secondary to chronic bronchitis. In reality, both heart disease and chronic bronchitis often coexist. This does lead to some diagnostic uncertainty and may require a focused therapeutic trial. By the way, mainstem bronchial narrowing is often most evident on the left lateral projection. Chronic bronchitis is the most important cause of recurrent coughing in mature dogs. Radiographs may be normal, but prominent bronchial markings and especially bronchiectasis do suggest the diagnosis. Moving further down uh, within the lung parenchyma, look for increased pulmonary densities and pulmonary vascular patterns that might be suggestive of either left-sided congestive heart failure or heartworm disease if that's relevant to your practice area. Left-sided cardiomegaly, pulmonary venous congestion, and perihilar interstitial to alveolar densities are the classic radiographic features of left-sided CHF in the dog. Another common consideration is bronchopneumonia, especially when a lobar sign is evident in a cranial or middle lung lobe. Primary and metastatic pulmonary neoplasia and pulmonary fibrosis are additional rule-outs. While primary and metastatic lung cancers have characteristic appearances in most dogs, the findings in lung fibrosis are more subtle and sometimes the lungs appear normal. While there are certainly other diagnostic considerations for coughing, this quick trip down the respiratory tract is both practical and clinically relevant. Based on this initial evaluation, the workup may take a focus towards bronchopulmonary or cardiac disorders. Ultimately, successful management of cough requires a definitive diagnosis, and that requires a thoughtful diagnostic evaluation. For more information on this subject, please see Cardiac Education Group dot org. Thanks for listening.